Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials and we are still continuing with our MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. This is the part four of the series where today we are going to learn about MongoDB Compass app. What is Compass app? Which is, it's nothing but it's a graphical user interface tool, GUI tool for managing your MongoDB, right? So you can relate it to it like a Toad application or SQL developer or any database tool or like Robo3D, Studio3D, which allows you to manage your MongoDB visually, right? We'll learn all about it. Today's session is all about hands-on. So we'll talk less and do more of uh, the hands-on examples. So I welcome you to the episode and the channel. My name is Sridhar, let's get started. All right, so this is part of the MongoDB full tutorial playlist. Um, I have planned around 21 tutorials for you, which are totally hands-on with live project and examples. I'm sure you will learn a lot. Make sure you check out each tutorial and follow step by step so that you don't have a breakage in your continuity of learning. All right, so, so far we have covered about the introduction. We have learned how to install MongoDB and this is an extremely important chapter, uh, episode number two, uh, where I've taught you how to install MongoDB. Now we have seen multiple ways to install it. One is in Visual Studio Code, one was um, on Windows machine and I also told you how to install on other distributions. Make sure you check it out get, because this uh, particular episode will be dependent on episode number two. And I expect that, I'm assuming that you have your MongoDB up and running and you have Compass app installed on your machine. All right, so in this episode, let's, we'll learn how to connect. We'll learn how, what are the basic uh, understanding of Compass app and then get some hands-on examples here and there on Compass, right? Let's get started without wasting any time. Let's jump right into the demo and see how it works. So I'm sure you have, if you have Compass application, you would see something like this similar screen when you launch it, right? So remember I told you in the second episode that the default name is always local host, right? That's the default credentials. The default port is always 27017, okay? So make sure that also you are taking it correct. You can leave the other details for now. Just click on connect and you would see your application loaded, right? So always remember MongoDB will have a default, these three databases defined, right? It will always have these three defined by default, okay? Now you can see here, it shows you the details of your hosting, right? It says um, there's local host 27017. Uh, it's a standalone cluster and the addition is MongoDB 4.2.8, right? So that it shows there are three databases. These are the three databases it's talking about. And it says there's one collection, right? So in the previous episode, we have learned um, about the collection. So you see here, there is a collection called startup underscore log. Uh, in the, there are three databases, these three, and there is one collection, which is startup underscore log, right? So this, uh, if you look at this um, particular user interface, you can click on it, you can drill down, you can see the details. Uh, just get familiar with it. On the left side, you have your databases and documents and collection navigation. And on the right side, you would see details. We'll, we'll explore this particular thing in the next episode where we will learn how to connect with your Visual Studio code and all that. So what I'll do is, uh, let's go ahead. And now I'm going to click on my local and I'm going to say create new collection, right? So you can give a new collection name here. And for now, just say learning, give any name you want. It will create a new collection. What is a collection? What is a database? What is a document? I have covered in detail in the previous episode. Make sure you check that out also because you don't want to miss on that because that's the core backbone of learning. So we have a collection here called learning. Click on it. There is no document right now. It's empty document, right? Click on insert document. These are the visually appealing tool that you want to use. But again, there is there are better ways of doing it. I will show you all of the techniques and tricks. Right, so I'm going to add one more. Right, and I'm going to say email. And you can say email, give your test at email.com, whatever email address. So you see, I'm building a schema. I'm building a document. What is a document? It's a key value pair. That's what we learned in the previous episode. Just click insert. The document is inserted, 
right you can do operations like delete you can do operations like update i'll add one more field to it there is no schema right there is no schema we define the schema we want and that's the beauty of it so right so right and click on update and your document is updated i can insert a new document i can have totally different fields i don't even have to have the same fields anymore right that is the beauty of mongodb that you can have any data you want in the documents these are two different documents inside a collection called learning inside the database called local see how they are related now right so if you want to relate i had covered it in the previous episode you can check it here i told you how this whole thing is played there will be documents there will be collections and then there will be database right so which means we have created documents which form a collection collections form a database right this is the chain so here you can see clearly we created documents which are inside a collection called learning which is inside a database now you will ask can i create more collections of course you can create you can create any number of collections you want uh, right so inside this database you can click here again and say create new collection i'll say testing go ahead create the testing so now you see there are two collections one is testing one is learning right so i'll give you this as a homework create one more collection couple of collections throw in some documents inside this try and look around here even if you don't understand it's okay the purpose of today's episode is to learn get your hands familiar with this application try to click on the collection see the data try edit a particular document try clicking on this to delete try clicking on this to clone right so something like this clone and you are done so now you have two right so play around with this i will going to i'm going to cover slowly this will become complicated right now if you find it easy i that i will i'm very happy for it if you find it easy because we are going to slowly add more complications we'll use command line interface to you start writing commands instead of ui it will be a lot more fun trust me i hope you are learning i hope you are enjoying with me and in the next episode i will teach you how to connect mongodb in visual studio code if you are a pro developer like me who loves visual studio code you would love connecting mongodb in visual studio code and work there thank you so much for joining i hope you are enjoying the series if you do please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you see you in the next episode